Welcome back, everybody! You know what I'm just thinking about in between episodes here? All this information that just got poured onto us, and yet, Magilu isn't gonna know any of this until we explain it to her later. That's kind of, well, I don't know, I mean, I feel like our party's missing a little bit of the information here, you know? I don't know, I'm just saying here. Earth Pulse first stratum, oh no. We're not, we're doing the stratum thing again? And this time we're on the fourth stratum because, well, that's what it said before. I don't know. That's just what the save said, and now now it says someone else. Or doesn't. Maybe it really doesn't. I have no idea. This is where we're supposed to be, apparently. Eisen, you said a human soul can be reborn as a Moloch given the right trigger, right? Is that something that happens frequently? I'm afraid I don't have an answer for that. We know that humans are sometimes reborn as Malachim, but not how or why. It's more likely among people with greater resonance, but the process is still a mystery. So Sorei could be a Moloch. So it's not something that happens, or that can be made to happen easily, ordinarily at least. But Velvet's sister was reborn as Ceres, and her unborn child came back as Lafayette. What are the chances of that? It might not have been chance. They both died on the Scarlet Night. Their rebirths may have been influenced by the sacrificial ceremony. Are you saying that Inominat made it happen on purpose? Call it an educated guess. But I don't think even an Empyrean can control the lives of humans or Malachim at his whim. If it wasn't chance, it might have been destiny. Velvet said she ate Ceres. Her own sister reborn as a Moloch. How could such a horrible thing be destiny? Sorry. I didn't mean to make light of a tragedy. But our fates intertwine. The good and the bad, whether we like it or not. That's what makes it destiny, right? True. But this... Get a hold of yourself, Eleanor. Velvet and Lafayette are in rougher waters than any of us. They'll be looking to you to light their way. Yes. I must remain calm and steady. Calm and steady wins the race, as they always say. Or does it? I don't know. I mean, seriously, though, if that's the possibility that higher resonance could increase the chances, maybe, that might mean Saray could be a. Uh, I said Moloch before. I wanted. I meant to say Seraphim because that's what they say in Zestiria, obviously, not not Moloch's. But I'm still kind of wondering at what point. Do we, I wonder if we're going to find at any point in this game where there's a transition from Moloch to Seraphim. Because I'm really curious about why the name changed like that. It just seems, it seems odd to me. Doesn't it seem odd to you? Over there! An Earth Pulse Rift. We may be able to get out from there. Oh hey, another one of these just to slow you down. Arthur, there's something I'd like to speak to you about. Alone. <laughs> This is going to be a big one, isn't it? Two souls possessing powerful resonance and free of malevolence. These must be sacrificed on the Scarlet Night. Ah, oh, yes. The ceremony to resurrect Denominat. You read my book. I haven't fully mastered the ancient tongue yet, but I have read your notes. You wrote that if Inominat is resurrected, we can make a world free of demons. Seven years ago, a soul with strong resonance, my own unborn son, was sacrificed for that purpose. Now, Inominat's resurrection is half complete. Because of that, everyone's resonance has grown stronger enabling them to see demons. Yes, that's the truth behind the opening. So, if one more person is sacrificed... Inominat's resurrection will be complete, and his power will spur the creation of many new exorcists. And there is another Scarlet Knight very soon. Arthur, I must ask. Luffy said. Can't I be the sacrifice? <laughs> Tell me, why do you think that birds fly? I think that birds fly because they must. 
Why else would they have wings if not to embrace the sky? I have wings too, weak as they are. That's why I must fly, now! If we miss this Scarlet Knight, the next won't be for another three years. By then, I won't be alive. Say what? Luffy said, why would you say such a thing? Exactly! The Twelve Year Sickness. That's the name of my disease. So you know. I'm not afraid of being sick. But I don't want to just be a burden on everyone until I die. I couldn't take it. Your wings are your will. And they are strong. Lars. Please. You can't tell Velvet about this. I promise. I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. for we're a family right hurry back i'll make you a quiche just the way she taught me no kidding i think you'll be an exorcist rival even him shut up he fell further than this back at the shrine i will have my revenge <sighs> revenge for lafisette lafisette knew so much more pain than i ever will and still i do anything for him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shut up! It's a lie! A dirty lie! All of it! It's all their lies! And I believe it! Die! He is not amused. Get out of my way, you disgusting monster! <laughs> oh, okay. No, no crazy battle music or anything. We're just gonna get right into it. Gotcha. Let's do this. An amalgamation of multiple demons? It doesn't matter what it is. I'll devour it until it's dead. Well, sorry, you're not participating in this battle, so. Unfortunately for you, you will not get that opportunity. Or will you? I don't know, I mean, maybe, maybe you could. It could happen. I wouldn't count on it, though. I mean, oh, gee, stop. Stop hitting me, man, please. Why, why all the zeros? I, I don't like all these zeros, you know? Hey, hey, I thought you were stunned for a second. It felt like you were stunned. I guess I just got a soul. Every time I get a soul, I kind of just assume... Well, he must be stunned or something. Not though. Not this time. I'll take that. Thank you. Hey. Hey, get stunned, please. We're doing, like, no damage. Some of these, these hits are doing literally zero damage. And it makes me wonder. Why is that exactly? I don't know. You know what? I don't care. I don't care. Just gonna do that. I feel like it. Is that so wrong? Perhaps it is. I don't know. Is it wrong? I think it's wrong. It's wrong that we have a... What is it? It's a chimera. That doesn't... That's no chimera I've ever seen, anyway. It's basically a... Oh. What, what is that head? Is that like a cat head? A plant? And a, a snake. Okay. Because that makes sense. This is the monster that makes the most sense in the entire world. What are you weak to? You're very weak to martial arts. Okay. Well, I think that's what I'm doing, is it not? I don't know. Let me use some more martial arts. I'm sure that'll do a lot of damage. There you go. Martial arts. Oh, jeez. Are these martial arts? What am I doing, exactly? I'm doing... I'm doing something. Wait. Are all these really martial arts? Wow. 
Go figure. Yeah, I guess I don't have any of those other arts. It's just all martial arts and Moloch arts for my casting stuff. Oh, there you go. Got you. Prepare yourself. You took damage. Congratulations. I congratulate you for no reason. Because I felt like it. Yeah, why not? I think it's fine. Take that. Hey, prepare yourself. You didn't prepare yourself. Or uh, maybe you didn't prepare yourself. I don't really know. Stop preparing yourself. I didn't want that. I just wanted you to get stunned so I can do the thing. Doing things with fun. No, but you have two. How dare you have two? You really should have a little bit more going for you, but you don't. Gosh dang it, Velvet. If only you participated in battle a little bit more. Gosh dang it, Eleanor. If, if only you participated in battle a little more. You could have had 3 BG. But no. We're only gonna be able to do 3 Mystic Arts if you ever get stunned. I'm just wondering if it's ever gonna happen. That's the real question here. Nope, nope. Ow! I got hit. I got hit by punching him in the side. I mean, he shouldn't be that sturdy from the size, no. That's what, that's an enemy for you. Come on. I'm starting to wonder. No, this is, oh, no, no, no. It's not working the way I want it to. It's not working the way I want it to. Hey, stun. Stun. Let's see. Uh, location Earth Pulse, really now. 614 focus. Well, it's not that high. I thought it would have been a little bit better than that, but apparently not. All damage taken and reduced by 30, okay. You have one stun move. Ugh. That's cool too, I suppose. I don't know if it really matters that much. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Still want to finish up with Mr. Guards. I'm going to have to be really judging here and as to when to use this. Like right now. I think right now is the only time to use it. You know what? I don't need any more. I'm done. He's dead. He got crushed. Game over. Oh, jeez. Wow. You did it, Rokuro. You finished him off with your 18,000 damage. You're in the Soul Lancer title. Oh, good job, Eleanor. Topaz and Quartz mastered. Well, but don't go crazy. Oh. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm really confused. Calm down, Velvet. This farce is just another of Venomenot's illusions. Farce? How callous. That farce is the true face of my sister. <sighs> she hates, resents, devours, and kills. She tramples people, cities, everything. Living only by her emotions. What an ugly, tainted soul. It's not like that! Nothing you say will matter. She knows. She knows if it's the truth. He's right. Just think. Everything I did was baseless. Arrogant. And even so, I still... You hurt so many innocent people, didn't you? More than I can count. I devoured and killed so many. Without even knowing Arthur's true aims. I destroyed people. I destroyed whole towns. And worse yet? You didn't even show mercy to your own sister's reincarnation. Not like she knew. I hate her. And despite all of that, I still love you, Velvet. That's why I chose to become a sacrifice for you, sister. But think, if you try to stop the resurrection, wouldn't my death be all for nothing? To tell you the truth, I was terrified of dying. It was so dark. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You'll accept it then? That everything you've done up until this point, all of it. Yes. 
It was all for nothing and for no one. I hurt so many people, all for no reason. I'm a monster. If you've accepted it, you have to atone for your sins. Once I eat the final two malevolences inside you, I'll fully awaken. Give them to me. Give me your hatred, your despair. If you do, I can cleanse this world of all its pain. I had hoped that you could live in a world without pain and sadness. But you're a monster now. You don't belong there. you don't, you'll die too for no reason. No! A twisted monster like me doesn't deserve to live. Don't you understand? You're the reincarnation of the first sacrifice. Part of me. Don't worry, I'll devour you too. Be set. Tell this self-absorbed idiot what she needs to hear! Please... Let me go. Will you stop whining?! Huh? No, I don't understand! You snap at people! You're scary! You... You tried to eat me! But... You're also kind! And you're filled with life! A flame burns in my heart, too. A flame I cannot quench no matter how hard I try. Just like you, Velvet. I finally understand how you felt. But the only one I can fight for is myself. That's good enough. That's proof that you are truly alive.
Meanwhile, Magilu's doing something. Miss Magilu! Don't... Don't worry. If Velvet could do it, there's no way I can't... How many times do you plan to destroy and rebuild your own heart, Magilu? We're on 107. Who was it? 108? I lost count. Not that I really care. Pathetic fool. Did I not tell you it would require an iron will as indomitable as the very trees that live and die across millennia? Like you, I suppose. Or that boy over there. That is the foundation of an ideal world. One free from man's sins. <laughs> An ideal world, huh? You, kid. The boy who was your companion, Lafayette. He's alive. Chasing a terrifying demon girl, he has learned the immensity of the seas and weathered the dry wastes of the land. People, they're different from us. Despite the pain, the anguish, they embrace the life they've been given. They live undaunted by the ugliness of the world. <gasps> so you're doing this all for them? Is that what this is? <laughs> Not even close. They aggravate me to my wit's end. <laughs> like stabs in the chest, over and over and over. And that's exactly why. That's why I intend to see how all of this ends. I won't be satisfied until I do. Words bereft of meaning. You truly are my greatest failure gosh funny just how little I care no please let me guess we came at a good time you're late because of you, I had to have a really boring conversation. <laughs> so, you came face to face with Inominat. If so, then you must know that your quest for revenge is utterly meaningless. Yeah, I did. I know why sadness fills the world, and I know how deep are the burdens of sin. I tried to abandon my memories of Arthur and Laffy, to cut myself off from it all, and end this tragedy. It's... it's what they would have wanted. Exactly. You do well to know your place. But that's exactly why I can't forgive them. Not Artorius, not Inominat. I know my heart is ugly and full of contradictions. But those days we spent together in familial warmth. They're proof that I, that all of us, were truly alive. That's why, no matter how hard, no matter how sad it gets, I will take my vengeance to the very end! Velvet! Don't be a fool! Just give up and die like you ought! It is your destiny to wallow in despair! You take my family, turn me into a monster, and you want my soul too. Now who's being the fool? Remember this well. The Lord of Calamity never gives up. 
Not even in the face of death. Have you no shame for your sins, you unholy monster? <laughs> You sure you can fight in your condition? Who do you think I am? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. I am the dastardly witch Magi Lu, scourge of self-righteous exorcists! Now face the wrath of Magi Lu Maven! Oh, really? Fools, all of you! I think there's a few too many mavens in this world now. I'm just saying. Oh, sure, you're weak to win. That's cool. Oh, yeah, I guess that's good, though. I can't, can't um, win something. I can't Everyone, argue with that. Sorry to have worried you. I wasn't worried. I didn't realize you were someone who needed looking after. Me neither. This is all where it's when we trust you. Yeah. You horrible imprint! See? Stabbed in the chest. That's all you give me. Sometimes it just works out like that. You never really know. But good job, good job. You did, you did something right, or did you? Yeah, you did definitely do something right. Good job to you, though. Seriously, you're weak to physical attack. Well, I can't argue with that. Heck, even this soulless creature decided to just, like get a little bit phased by what Magula was saying. Maybe it goes to show that even. Like, if you just say the right things, you end up breaking through eventually. Or do you? That is the real question. Or do you? My gosh. Some action packed episodes lately. We're finding out all sorts of information. All sorts of crazy things happening. And there's so much more craziness to happen still. Probably. Because, I mean, honestly, I don't know. How close are we to the end? I, I don't want to know, but... It's starting to feel a little bit closer now all of a sudden. Oh, no, you're down. Congratulations. I'm going to run right through you. Ha 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 ha. Now your power link has been broken, Melchior. We're going after you. I'm going to start just spamming wind attacks at you because... Oh, crud. That's not the wind attack I meant to spam at you. I meant to spam some of this. And some of those. And some of these. Just prepare yourself. You're going to get as much wind as possible. More wind! Yes! You darted it! Congratulations to you! Melchior, you truly are the greatest defensive character I've ever met in my life. Wait a second! Ah, oh, man! I ruined it! I really do ruin it. Oh, what is it? No, no, stop it, man. You weren't even supposed to do that. I like how that Moloch is standing there just uh, in a dizziness state. It's not even changing at all. Like, oh, I'm still kind of dizzy. No big deal, right? Thanks for walking right into that, by the way, Melchior. Jeez. So seriously, why do they have the same name? I didn't even know there could be two mavens at once. I thought that wasn't possible. I thought there could only be one. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just don't realize how the whole maven thing works, I guess. Oh, man. Wait a second. Do I have... No, it's Kraus and Slow, not Fatigue. Well, wait a second. Do I have the anti-fatigue thing? Not that... Well, I guess it's not a guarantee either. I could block it. It'd be nice if it was a guarantee. What are you doing? Stop running after me. What did I do to you? I did nothing. Let's see. You're very weak to martial arts. Well, it's nice to know. Hmm. What was I doing? Oh, Tethered Moloch one. So you get 551 focus. You have 846. That's kind of nice, I suppose. Iron Sands grant up to five hits while casting. You don't say. That is quite a lot of hits. I wonder if he has a Mystic Art, because he has not used it yet. If he does have one. Man, I really hope he doesn't have a But if he does, I am going to... I don't know what I was expecting right there. Prepare yourself! You are so done. Perfect mayhem. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, he's dead anyway. I don't know what he said. I didn't know he was going to talk upon killing him. ending me not. They took something precious from me. I'll never forgive them for that. The annals of history are stained with evil people like you. 
You spread havoc and destruction, all to satisfy your own ends. A dark font of malevolence. You're a demon lord, the irredeemable embodiment of sin. The lord of calamity. It is the exorcist's duty to destroy you. You talk a lot. How about you keep talking and tell us where Eifried is? You'll regret this. I can feel Inominot. He's coming! We can fight here no longer. The Enfu, close the rift! I can't! Come forth! <laughs> hey, Zabid, what are you doing here? No, seriously. Carelessness will get you killed. Zavid! <sighs> you ruined the moment. Huh? Don't you mean, thanks for saving us, Zavid? You're my hero and role model. Thank you for saving us, Zavid. Where exactly are we now? We're in an Abbey facility on Hexen Isle. I yep. heard Melchior was in charge here, so I snuck in. I hadn't expected an extra-dimensional space. Is there a way out? There is now, that I've busted my way in. Let's head outside. We can talk then. Uh... Who's that? A friend. His name is number one. Hey. Wanna come with us? If you stay here alone, a dragon might get you. I bet you wouldn't like that. Yeah, that sounds scary. Great. Come on, kid. What are you doing? You can't leave him like this. I'll get him a vessel, somehow. <sighs> Do what you like. Honestly, this entire time I thought that Moloch was a she, but eh, whatever. Details, details, right? Enemy stun duration. Capability versus winged. Capability versus beast. Art defense. Capability versus crustaceans. 5% chance of having SG costs. Ooh. That sounds amazing. So, wait a second now. Did, did, what, what's her name? Just get something called the freaking... Whatever the heck Leo's weapon is in Fire Emblem Fates. I don't, I don't even know. It looked like Eleanor just got something that said that exact same thing. What the heck? Oh no, you're making no sense to me now. What did I just do? Okay, I need this. I need that. I need... Oh, I got some military hike. Yes! That is what I want. That is what I'm going to use. I'm going to also get rid of this. Thank you very much. Hmm. Well, I could put that on. Yeah, I'm going to put that on, actually. Let's have a swap, Loppy Set. It looks like you've already mastered it, so heck with it. Mm. There you go. It's been done. And now this has already been mastered too, but I'm not ready to give it up, so that's too bad. You're gonna keep that on. And uh, there is, there is more, but again, these two are wearing it, so can't do anything. How about you, Eleanor? You've got something. Silky touch garments. Okay, well, that, well, I would like some more BG, especially since you're in the party now, so we'll go with that. Yes, we, we will go with that. That's what I said. You have a problem with this? Well, I hope you do, because I don't know. Hmm. Alright, so... <laughs> do I hope you have a problem with it? Yes, that is exactly what I want. I want problems in this world! No, I'm just kidding. I am the Lord of Calamity! Don't you know that? That's who I'm playing as. Okay, we'll go with Topaz Garments. Thank you very much, because I think that's the lowest one. And... We are good. The expedition is back. Take a I was almost wondering if we were going to fight the beat again for a second. I was like, geez, can we have more, more fights, please? I really appreciate just having so many fights. So we have 93 now. So dispatch to Albane yet again. 15 minutes. Nice. So, we're here again. Like, we didn't get enough of this place in the Tales of Zestiria bonus episodes. My gosh. I, I don't like this place. 
Oh no, please don't tell me there's gonna be a lot of this place again. I don't I don't I don't want this place to go on forever and ever and ever and ever again. Okay, whatever. Anyway though, uh, blah, blah, blah. are we at the end of the episode? Yes we are. So on the next exciting episode, everyone, I think we are gonna just go through this place or something like that. I'm probably going to try to run through as much of this place as I possibly can off screen. And probably cut in as soon as a cutscene or a conversation happens or something. I don't know. Looks like we gotta go there. Probably. I don't know. Yeah. So let me know what you think about everything that happened today. A lot happened. We found out about all the stuff that happened and how everything is really meaningless, but she doesn't really care because of Lappy said being like, oh, well, you know, what the heck? Get, get out of here! Stop whining! Ugh! And Zavid somehow busting in. How the heck did he bust in? How did he find this place? How did he get in here? I'm confused. I suppose that'll be the question that we answer next episode, maybe. I hope. I don't know. I really like that question to be answered, because I am curious as to how we got in here. How he found us. How did any of this happen? I, I, I'm so, so confused. Whatever, though. Like I said, we'll figure this out next episode. So I'll see you later, everyone. <coughs> oh, bye, bye, uh, seriously, bye, I, I don't know, bye, oh, holy cow. <laughs>